So these are my battle blades and I'm gonna install them on the Toro Grandstand 36 and the other are going to be installed on my Toro Z Master 4000 mower. So first thing is first guys, let's, uh, let's wash my equipment. So the first thing I do before I wash my mowers is I will I just kind of wet the mower, kind of wash off the heavy stuff that kind of accumulates on it to make it a lot easier. But during this process, for some reason, um, the power washer was acting kind of funny. But uh, guys, so this is what I use. Do not use purple power um, because what I found especially like on my uh, other mowers is that purple power would take away your acrylic on the mower and leave a dull paint and that's not what you want so utilize something that is made for your mowers and this product and I will leave a link in the video description is a product that I will recommend. I've been using it for a while and they have different ones. They have one with a wax design inside the, uh, the product. So yeah, try that. Well, things don't always work the way you want them to. <laughs> I, uh, something is wrong with the pressure washer. So uh, I have to go all the way over there and hit the circuit breaker. But um, I'm going to just put it up and utilize the hose, which again, with the Ballard uh, mower degreaser, guys, you really don't need all that pressure washing, but let's continue on, okay? So I decided to just wet or wash the other uh, mower off with the hose and apply the product onto the mower. And believe it or not, I don't have to do a lot of scrubbing. The only scrubbing that I actually do is on the real tough areas. But usually I spray this on and wash it right off, like so. Leave it on for a few minutes and kind of just wash the whole mower off. And like I said before, guys, I try to do this every week because again, I want to take care of my equipment and I usually get a good return on my investment especially when I'm trading up because that's what I do every couple of years. Look at that, no scrubbing. Now the only reason I don't have to scrub guys is because I do this every week. Okay, um, this one has been about a month, so again, different situation, so I may have to scrub under there. Let's see. So now let's go ahead and rinse this one off. And again, I get a lot of guys that ask, will this destroy your mower? Washing it off, and no, water do not destroy your mowers. Your mowers are outdoor equipment and you cut wet grass so believe me I'm yet to see anyone actually uh, destroy the mower because they washed it there you go the only area that I'm probably have to scrub is right here no big deal so a little bit of scrubbing not really scrubbing because this is a sponge just kind of wiping it off and that was it. Wash it off real good, and now we are going to dry. How's it going, man? How's everything? You go, you go. That's what I'm doing right now. You know, just some maintenance and all that good stuff. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, man. Good to see you, bro. So now, because. I'm going to exchange, uh, switch out the blades. I'll go ahead and dry it off and dry the uh, 
a little asphalt underneath so I can get under there. And uh, I usually blow them off anyway, unless it's real hot. If it's real hot and sunny, you know, by the time I finish doing every, any, everything else, the moors are usually uh, nice and dry anyway. So to save some time on this video, guys, I'm not going to actually show the installation of the Ballard um, commercial blades. Because again, guys, you've seen blades on and off machines before. But they are the newest commercial blades on the market with advanced high performance features. So um, they have high lift suction fins, uh, which mulch, pulverize the grass um, much better than the average mulching blades. They have a carbine cutting edge which is designed to stay sharp for up to four times longer than the average blade. So we're gonna test that out. Uh, and they have a high grade Rockwell 45 and HRC 60 rated cutting edge. So we're gonna put them to the test in the next couple of weeks and see, uh, you know, see how they work. I'm pretty excited to uh, take them out and see exactly how long they stay sharp and uh, how tough they are because you know I'm in the uh, sandy soil conditions and the sand really destroy my blades. So let's see how tough these are. Alright guys, so we've uh, installed the Ballard Gold Blades on the Toro Z-Master 4000, 48 inch deck. And we also installed on the Grandstand 36. And uh, yeah, so from this point on guys, um, on my videos, I will be telling you what kind of blade I'm using, um, what kind of string, uh, trimmer string I'm using. So I'm also testing out the battered uh, trimmer string, the 0 0.95. And uh, by the way, these handles, <laughs> guys, let me tell you, they may look simple, they may look like, eh, it doesn't make a difference. They make a big difference uh, on your comfort of grip. And they're pretty easy to put on and take off. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome uh, addition to your fleet and again guys it's all about comfort um, some of us don't care and I understand that some of you guys don't care um, but I do I do and uh, again I, I use these equipment these new innovations all this new stuff so you can see uh, how it works okay it's easy for me to make a video and then you never see this stuff again that's not who I am uh, everything that I show everything that I showcase is things that I use. Now, if I used to use a different type of string or a different type of blade, whatever the case might be, guys, remember, technology change, okay? Um, things improve. So it's not that one product is no good. It's just that the new product is better. Simple as that, simple as that. So there's no science to it, okay? I'm about innovation. I'm about new stuff. I'm about new technology, okay? So, again, I have the <laughs> Ballard blades in there. So, uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what is what, right? Okay, let me put this up.
All right, guys, see you on the next one. Pop smoke.